Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, exponential functions and their uh, differentiation of exponential functions specifically in order to figure out how to uh, maximize uh, revenue. So find the um, optimal uh, price at which to uh, sell uh, your units uh, so that the max uh, the revenue is maximized. So what we have here is the uh, uh, demand function. Uh, D of x is 140 times e to the minus uh, Sorry about that, 0 0.025 times x. So the x belongs in the exponent. Um, so 140 times e to the minus 0 0.025 times x. Uh, so this indicates um, the uh, price um, at which uh, the uh, uh, item should be sold if uh, x units um, are selling. Okay, so basically what the market will bear uh, for that number of units. Um, so what we're going to do is use this demand function to compute a revenue function, um, so the amount of revenue made from selling x units. Then we'll find uh, the maximum of that function, find out what x value maximizes revenue. So how many units ideally should be sold uh, to maximize revenue. And then from that, we will determine the uh, price um, at which those uh, that number of units should be sold. Okay, now, um, to get the revenue function, it's actually quite easy. All we have to do is multiply the demand function, d of x, by x, the number of units sold. Revenue is number of units sold times uh, price per unit, which is what demand function gives us. So we get 140x e to the minus 0.025x. Um, now, to find the value of x at which revenue is maximized, We've used this procedure before with other functions. We need to um, find the uh, critical points. So for that, we need the derivative of a revenue function um, to uh, find out where it's equal to zero. That's where the critical points are. Um, and uh, that'll give us the value of x that we see uh, right here. So this function is a uh, product. Uh, so we have to use the uh, product rule. So I'm going to have 140 out front, and now let's differentiate x times, or put parentheses here, x times e to the minus 0.025x. So I'm going to have my exponential function, e to the minus 0.025x, times the derivative of x, which is just 1, and then I have plus x times the derivative of an exponential function. That's going to be e to the minus 0.025. 0 to 5x times the derivative of the exponent. Um, so if we've, you've seen this rule before for differentiating exponential functions. So that would be, so the derivative of minus 0 0.025 times x is just the constant in front, minus 0 0.025. Okay. Um, and now my uh, derivative is complete. I just need to find where it is uh, equal to 0. Uh, so to find critical points, so r prime of x is 0, uh, or undefined, but this function is defined everywhere, so we won't have to look at that. Um, to find out where this function is equal to 0, I can simplify matters by noticing what I can factor out. Both terms in here have e to the minus 0.025x, which is never 0. It's always positive. So I'm just going to factor that out. So r prime of x equal to 140 e to the minus 0.025x. And then what's left here is just 1. And then over here I have minus 0.025x. And, uh, and so this whole thing is going to be equal to 0. This part is, as I mentioned earlier, always positive. So I just need to see where this is equal to 0. So, so our prime x is 0 if and only if 1 minus 0.025x is equal to 0. So now I'm going to uh, move the second term to the other side. And now I can divide both sides by 0 0.025. So this is my value of x. Uh, if I use my calculator or I could do this in my head, um, 1 over 0 0.025 is exactly equal to 40. So that 
is the um, number of um, that is the uh, number of units that should be sold in order to maximize revenue. Um, because you might think, oh, the more uh, units you sell, the more revenue you'll make. Except that the demand is a decreasing function of x. So the more units you sell, the lower of a price you can sell them at. Uh, so we have these two forces competing against each other. So we're finding the value of x that strikes the best balance. Um, and that turns out to be x equals uh, 40 units. Okay. Um, so now that we've established that it's best to sell 40 units to um, maximize revenue, uh, we still need to assess the demand um, at that number of units to determine what price the item should be sold at. So the price is going to be the demand function D evaluated at um, X is equal to uh, 40. So that would be uh, 140 times E to the minus 0 0.025 times 40. Well, as we saw earlier, uh, uh, 1 over 1.025 is 40. So rearranging at 40 times 0 0.025 um, that's equal to minus 1. So we have 140 e to the minus 1. Uh, now for that, you would need your calculator. Um, so if you um, plug it into your calculator and round it two decimal places, I just happen to remember what it is. It is to two decimal places, $51.50. So that is the price at which the item should be sold to um, maximize revenue. 